Okay, I'm being plagued with some crash bugs here, but uh, needless to say, um, the last, the sudden ending to the last recording was because the game crashed again. Um, I'd actually completed the job, um, but when it crashes, I go back. I get the option to repair the file, so I repair the file, and then I lose the last. Uh, I lose the last sort of three minutes or so of the recording. So, but the rest of it's salvaged. So, as that last recording was ending, um, so what's missing from the recording is just me completing the delivery. So I successfully completed it, and I leveled up. And uh, what happened was I went ahead. I went straight ahead to take the next job. And as soon as I went to the job market. Uh, this is where it crashed. So, uh, I'm not going to try... Th I'll try a different one. <laughs> so I'm worried that it's going to crash again. Uh, whoa, whoa! Quite sure what happened there, but... Hey, it works, and I can resume the uh, I can resume the audio exactly where I left off. Claim to be the Antichrist? Yeah. Oh, then there's many questions that I have for you. Uh, first of all, how do you know that you are the Antichrist? How dare you? I dare. Your preconceived notions of what the Antichrist is. I don't dare. Have a valuable opportunity to talk. I don't. No, I, 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 was don't. Not even, I don't. I don't. You tell planning. me. You I was tell not me. even planning on I'm coming calling. out to talk to the public. Okay. But this is the first show ever that said, will the real Antichrist please stand up? That's correct. I was very intrigued. And I, just as an aside, I must say you have a, an excellent show. I don't know if it was fate, but a couple of months ago, my cousin had a uh, birthday party that she was listening to this unique man at night. And although I do work during the day, I wish I was on the beach, as the other guy said, drinking a margarita. But well, that's what people imagine. But, you know, what people imagine is rarely true. And you're right. How dare I imagine to know what the Antichrist is? So you tell me. What the Antichrist is, what the Antichrist is, wants. What... Is a man that comes along not by his choosing, just as Jesus was not by his own choosing. That's right. And I guess it was about the fourth or fifth grade that I was able to project myself over and have outer body experiences. Yes. Uh, when I was in junior high school, I started having global thoughts as far as getting a sense that now, this is really hard to explain, and I'm, I don't want to take up a lot of your time trying to explain the thought processes involved, but God speaks through one person at a time during each generation. That person may not even know it. And every 500 years or so, that person feels it really strongly. And every 2,000 years or so, that person feels it strongly enough to be imbued with the Spirit of God. Now, people have a, a conception of the Antichrist that he is the devil. Believe me, I am not the devil. It's just that this time, I don't care about the world. You saw what happened the last time that I manifested myself. They, they nailed me to a, to a tree. It's not going to happen this time because I'm going to be incognito. I am allowed to start talking about it from the year 1998 on. That is why I permitted myself to call tonight. What well, is about to happen is going to happen. Even if I tell you what's going to happen, you will not be able to stop it. That's quite all right. Tell me. All right. Now, once again, you're a skeptic. You're thinking that this is a hoax, which is fine. It's going to start about... No, I, I, I'm not making those kind of prejudgments. I'm really not. I'll listen to you. It's going to start when? 
is going to start, well, it's already started. I did not read your book, The Quickening, but I can grasp what you're, what it was probably about just by the inferences that you make to it. And you are right. Nature is going to play a part up to a point. But nature doesn't have to do anything. We're going to do it all to ourselves. We've already started. If you notice, we are animals. We have this mighty high opinion of ourselves, but we're nothing more than animals. And we are the same animal that evolved to take a very slow life that we used to live up until a couple hundred years ago. We are now way too fast to ourselves. We talk before we think, and technology is bombarding us with no time to react, contemplate, and ponder our next action. Okay, well, I don't, need to, I, I, don't, I don't need to hear what the current trends are. I know what they are. I all right, all right Art, I am, I am sorry. The year 2006 is when it will start. And it will start by the United States, which is the reason that I have decided that the world must reshuffle the deck. The world is not going to come to an end. We're just going to shuffle the deck. The United States economy will implode upon itself. 2006. 2006. I would start buying gold right now if anyone wants to believe me. In the year 2006, world monetary speculators, just as they've done to Russia, just as they've done to Indonesia, just as they will do to Japan in about six or seven months, are going to make a run on our currency. It'll be our turn. Do you know that we have what we profess to be a $5 trillion debt, which is actually more like $18 trillion if you add in Medicaid and Social Security? You're not sounding very Antichrist-like. What the Antichrist is, is somebody that has the power to stop this. Is that you? Yes. And by I what, am a and, world. And I by have what the means? Potential to be a world leader. And by what? Well, sure. By what means will you stop it? <laughs> if I were to get into politics, we'll stop in the air. Become the president of the United States in the year 2000. But I have chosen not to in because the middle I have deemed this world not worthy of saving at this time. In other words, under no conditions will you accept that job. Yes. Well, all right, then, if then, I you, would, if, then if you would cannot, then, uh, if, if asked, would you say, would refuse. I, I, I apologize, I did not hear your last statement. If, if asked, you would refuse. You would not run. No, I would run. You would run. If asked, but they will not ask. If Jesus came back, they would not believe him today. People today are so skeptical. They're so self -centered. Of course they are. I mean, but say something to... People think Bill Gates and Bill Clinton the Antichrist right now. That's how silly they are. Bill and Bill? The first man who had a wreck of his car with a 666 on his forehead thinks he's the Antichrist. Well, what, the about, the, what about the guy last hour who had the, who had the 666 on his bone? If he how were the real Antichrist, he would have had it. He would have been born with it. And, and, do you have, and were you? No, because the, the whole idea of a 666 is a silly, anecdotal uh, phrase. It, it comes from some part of the Bible. It's, it has no validity in truth. Well, now I'm you're really, sounding, really, you're sounding more like him now. I'm a nice guy. Go, go you know, I have just great not. love for the world. In fact, I, I have more respect for animals than I do most human beings. Yeah, you come at it a little like Christopher Walken. You're now a little more believable. You're a nice guy, huh? I'm a nice guy. I see the future. And yeah. at this time, you know what the cardinal sin is? What? Of this world. And I don't mean to sound cliched, but... God is very upset about abortion. Not just because we have chosen to abort little babies. Yeah, but, but, but you must be but, all in favor of abortion. I see you once again have the wrong idea of the Antichrist. Really? The, the, real, the Antichrist the first, is out the there doing, actually Christ, doing God's work, huh? The first Christ was public. I am private. The first Christ had a positive outlook on the way the world could turn out. The Antichrist has seen the last 2,000 years and knows that it was not possible to save the world. Do you understand what I just said? 
The original Christ was public. I am private. You are private. The original Christ and what is, tried to redeem the world. And what is your I role? I must cleanse the world. You must cleanse it. All right, so what is your role going to be in bringing all of this on? You will bring it on. I have already brought it on. The wheels are in motion. They cannot be stopped unless we take action right now. And we are too silly and too stupid to take action right now. All right. Well, I, I appreciate your your call, but... It seems to me the Antichrist would be more sure of himself. Not somebody saying, change your ways, get godly or else. I've been asking for you all morning. Where in the world are you, Jay? Jay? Well, I've just been reviewed. Oh, so I'm an old case now, am I? The office. Uh, tell him all the way, will you? He is not on his way. Probably has been ten years since I granted JC the honor of. Uh, I can't get up the hill. The audience, so it appears to be real. Guess who? JC. It is I, JC Webster the Third, and you did not introduce me correctly, Mr. Bale. As usual, you are disrespecting me. Oh no! Insultation. In insultation. There's nothing in this communique about. The way you should be introduced. I should be introduced as the bringer of the new revelation, God's ten star general in the war against media pornography. Okay, well let's let's find out exactly what this new revelation is. What what, what do you mean? God is angry. That is the new revelation. He has been given to me to bring forth 
in the fight against media pornography because you see what has happened to our country this god built this nation as his house and his house has been overrun with media pornographers degenerates when, a, when our founding fathers fled those crazies in europe because they wanted to get away from their decadent evil ways they came here and god built a place in the wilderness for them and his house has been overrun and, and god he tried he tried to send his son he tried he tried to give us an easy way out he tried to help us Jay-Z, obviously you and edna have a computer or you could not have sent me this demand right you have a computer yeah. Access and, and, and that's another thing I want to talk about. Well, before you get off on that, uh, look, JC, if you have a computer, that means that you get all kinds of email with porn in it. Yes, right? yes, and that's what I want to talk about is your filthy listeners have been sending so much filthy porn. My listeners? Yes, yes. Really? They have. I, I, recall, I, I recall that we published on the website several years ago a couple of email uh, communiques from Edna Pringle. I the guts to put the new commandments on your website. Is, and yes, and we are still getting pornography. Is Edna Pringle your biblical mate? My biblical? No, she is not my mate. How dare you? Well, I, you didn't explain then. In, in what relationship to you is Edna Pringle? A servant. A woman in her place who knows where her place is, and that is at the feet of the man who is bringing down the new revolution. She is at the feet of the general for God's war on pornography. Is Edna, is is Edna listening to all of this right now? No, I am, I am, I am angry at Edna. For? Because I, I'm not going to get into the details, but she seems to think oh. that she wants to go off. Can I go with? And, and uh, can I? Is there an alternative route? Is questioning me. Like, what in heaven's name could have brought her to a decision like that? She. A warm, I've got to get here. person like yourself. I know exactly who is doing it, and it's the devil. It's so, the devil. And, and uh, about the pornography, way. and I don't want people sending pornography to her anymore because you're corrupting her. So we have a new. If, if your listeners want to send. You want to send filth and talk to me? You, they can talk to my cousin, and we have a new, a new. Can't get up the hill; it's too steep. Pits of sewage at yahoo.com. <laughs> so you send your filth to the boiling pits of sewage at yahoo.com, and I will send a new commandment to you. <laughs> boiling pits of sewage. Boiling pits of sewage at yahoo.com. That's is that right. a real is that a real address? Are you putting us on? That I am not a liar. Don't you call me a liar, man? Well, I have to call me a liar. On. Right. You call me a liar. Well, no, well, I'm sorry you take it that way. Uh, boiling pits of sewage. Boiling pits of sewage. Because that is where all the media pornographers are going to go. They're going to be tossed into the boiling pits mm. of sewage. And they're going to have a body of excrement. And they'll be covered in red-hot excrement for all eternity. Yes, yes. Um, look, global warming. G-L-O-N-A-L warming. Global warming. Global warming. Well, well Edna, Edna wrote this. Well, that's right, because I do not encourage my followers or anybody or perhaps to, to you get wrote into it. book learning. Book Perhaps, learning is evil. perhaps you wrote this. I I tell her what to write. Yeah, it has it has the sound of of J C to it. I she listen. I will not touch a computer. Let me hear you spell global warming. I am not going to do what you tell me to do. <laughs> this is not a spelling bee, Mr. Bell. This right. is right. spiritual well, combat. Global this... warming is a very important topic to me. So let's hear it. What well, what let exactly? Me you, let me tell you, global warming because. Hell, as you know, is in the center of Earth, and it is heating up. And this is what's happening, Mr. Bell, is the, the dirtier the souls are getting, the more corrupt that they're getting, the more they are being pornographized by the media pornographers. They burn hotter. They burn hotter. And you see, a good person who does one bad thing and goes to hell doesn't burn as hot as a degenerate that has been degeneratized by the media pornographers. So their, their souls are burning hotter and hotter in hell. I've done it. Degenerate souls burning hotter, causing global warning. That's global warning! <laughs> well, then spell it right. Less book burning! More book burning! <laughs> More book burning. More book burning! You wouldn't book burn. Would you burn books? I burn. I burn. We just had a book burning. We just had to burn the newest Harry Potter book because it's attacking and killing Christians. You burned a Harry Potter book? I didn't just burn them, Mr. Bell. I took hallway sticks of dynamite and blew them up. <laughs> but it's a compound. Uh, well, that means, you, that means you had to buy them first, didn't you? Mr. Mr. Bell, yes. we confiscate them. 
and, and it's better that we buy them so that we keep them out of the hands of children yeah. who are going to be turned to the devil by Harry Potter. So you believe then that the the, the particularly evil soul, uh, souls are burning at an ever hotter rate, causing it's, some it's, of the heat to radiate heat. around the world into the atmosphere, and that's why it's getting warm. The heat, the throbbing heat of hell is radiating out, and, and people can feel it. And that's why volcanoes are going off. And that's why that's why that's why the hot spots you're talking about are going off, and and, and tsunamis and earthquakes. And, and, and plagues and floods and fires is because those those evil corrupted souls that the devil wants so badly it's of the, the filthier the sinner the hotter the burn why JC do you think that I am personally involved with the devil I've always wondered about Mr. Bell I, yeah. you are simply the most dangerous man in America and in, in what way you have you have created an intellectual tower of people with your radio program you, I want you to take a listen to me do you know a man named Stuart McBurney. No. Does that name ring a bell to you? It does not. Of course it wouldn't, because he was the voice of American Americanism. Yeah. For years, he held the line against the Soviet Union. He was the greatest, the greatest radio man ever. And you are on sacred ground, which is talk radio. This is the realm of the conservatives. We have been using talk radio to take back America from the hippie degenerate no good that have, have corrupted and degenerated our society over time. Then you actually consider yourself to be a wing talk show host. I should have my own show, and oh, I will it? have my own show, and right. that is in works, Mr. Bell. I, I can well imagine it might be. Do, you, do you really think you could keep, keep up this phony baloney act for that long? Excuse me? You dare accuse me. You are the one with baloney, Mr. Bell. Do you really think you could keep up this act like that? This is not an act, Mr. Bell. This is the anointing brought forth onto me from... <laughs> You, you really feel oh. all of this comes to you directly. The guy's holding up a placard not. saying, so End is near. There you go, revealing your true self. I am not being influenced by the devil, Mr. Bale. You were the one. You were the one creating the intellectual tower of Babel. Your voice, Casey, has a certain tone to it that we all wonder about. I want everyone out there in the audience right now to listen to this. This is the true voice of the man that you have been listening to for these years. He is the one trying to drag your soul down to Satan so that you will be thrown into the boiling pits of sewage, skinned alive, dipped in salt, and, and, and eaten and devoured over and over again. Dipped in salt? Dipped in salt. Mr. What does Bell. salt have to do with it? Because it burns! Oh, I see. That's that's after you get scratches in the pit of sewage. And after the salt, devil sticks you, you with his pitchfork over and over and over again. Mm. And, well, you, you say here people are going to be eaten by... Did you mean eaten or beaten by the devil? Eaten or, over, and beaten or, both. The devil is going to eat your body up. Okay. And he's going to take it and <laughs> eat it up. And then you're going to be excreted out. Give me that sound again, please. What sound? That, that eating sound. No, I'm not, I don't have to do what you say. Come on. Mr. Bale, you're yeah. trying to get me off my message. That's not hard, J.C. And my message, I am trying to save America... From the utter destruction of the satanic Soviet Union. But the Soviet Union doesn't exist anymore, buddy. Yes, it does. No, it That's doesn't. Why you and your friends in the media love to perpetrate. The Soviet Union crumbled, J.C. You know that. I know you know it. That is a lie, Mr. Bell. It is a it is deception from the devil. The devil's deception. Everything bad is from the devil, isn't it, J.C.? Everything is from. You the know devil. what I think? I think. You're consumed by the devil. I am not consumed by the devil, and I am insulted that you would even insinuate such things. You disrespect me continually. You know, a lot of people are curious, J.C., what part of the country are you from? Where do you originate from? I am not going to disclose my secret location. Just so the, the, God will reveal to those who are faithful to come calling to our new ground. Just the... Well, how can, how can all these people come if they don't know where you are? God's going to tell them. He's going to speak to the hearts of the faithful. <laughs> right? We are going to be relocating anyway to a new compound in Idaho, the Great American Pacific. Yeah, you're going. You're going to get, so your headquarters is going to be in Idaho. That's correct. <laughs> We're going to have a brand new compound, and God is going to reveal to the hearts of the faithful, and He's going to call them like a tolling of the bell. The faithful will come to their knees in droves. Well, Jesse, we need to take a break. I'm not there, are you, buddy? Yeah, so you can sell your demonic wares. <laughs> yeah, baby. From the high desert. <laughs> this is uh, Coast to Coast AM, rocking on through the night. We've got JC, and he will take your phone call. So, if you want to talk to JC, this is the uh, opportunity of a lifetime. Yeah, man, this music is JC all the way. He'll be back in a moment. We're going to 
take calls from some of you out there and see how you react to the man who thinks the world is heating up from the souls that are burning in hell. Do you know, the pits of sewage down there, right back. By the way, Jay-Z, that is your anthem. And when I play it, I squat down. Well, you heard me. That music that you're playing is making me sick. That's your anthem, Jason. Not my anthem. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You wanted an anthem, you've got it. Now I, I want to know I what the hell. But before I subject I you, anthem. before I subject you to callers who are waiting to, well, I don't know what they're waiting for and why they're calling, but um, before we go to that, uh, I want to know what's so evil about my cute little furry cats. They're beautiful. Look cats at are demonic creatures, Mr. Bale. Say what? They are lycanthropes. Demons in disguise. They are not. Yes, they are. They are the sweetest yeah. little fur balls you'll ever want to meet. They're evil. No. If, They're you, evil. if you think cats are evil, JC, then let me tell you, brother. You're evil. Cats are evil, evil. because they steal souls and they are the familiars of Satanists. Oh. Now, let me tell you, you never, you're still disrespecting me. You're not allowing me to make my points about media pornography. And well, one of your points was evil cats. Cat, yes. Devil cats. Demons. They hide themselves in, in the appearance of what. They look here. They try to look like these innocent, furry little things, but they're really demons, <laughs> and they really are. They're, they're evil. You look at their eyes, and they look at you, and they just want to devour you, and they want to steal your soul. I've got one cat right now on my compound that I've been chasing for the better part of a year. You know what? I think you're overly sensitive on this whole pornography issue. Now, maybe, maybe it would be true, J.C., that you, in your idle time, look at what. I bet. In my I, idle I, time, I, I, I review all manner of. of I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Well, you are trying to so insinuate that I would enjoy media pornography. Uh, if I have to review a Larry Flynn magazine, I do not enjoy it one bit. I have to know the enemy, and I'm going to tell you, there's more to media pornography than dirty pictures of naked people. I'm going to make a point here right now because you need to hear this. And every every moment that you see it. Wounds your soul, J.C., right? It, does, it can't harm me because I'm praying against it. God has charged me with this work. God has charged and given me the energy, the so, power, the power. God, when, when, when. So when it's like you're, you're praying against it, but you're looking at it going, oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. You, the, your program, the oh, oh, yeah. of ideas in your program makes me sick to insinuate that I would sit there and enjoy it. Makes me sick. Mr. Bell, I'm telling you, there's more to media pornography than just dirty pictures of naked people. And I'm going to tell you that right now, there's one pornography, and this is an evil pornography which draws millions of men out of church, and that's football. And I'm going to tell you exactly how evil what football is. What is wrong with foot football? is a homosexual ritual. Oh, for God's sake. Let me sake. tell you why. Because anytime you've got a man who's putting his hands on the backside of another man like that, and what that is, is a simulation of the homosexual consummation, and the ball, the, <sighs> the football represents the birth, it's oh. a mockery of birth, it represents Please. the homosexual self, which is then given to the to the quarterback, who is usually the best looking one on the team, and <laughs> he takes that, he takes that homosexual self, and he looks out among the field of other men who will receive and take his homosexuality, and he sends it to him, and, oh. and with the intention of taking it into sacred ground, the sacred space of, 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 of America and the family and values. Now, America has taken a more tolerant attitude toward homosexuality, certainly in the last few decades. Unfortunately, uh, yeah. we and, have and queer you, guys trying to turn straight guys and, queer. And, and, you don't, and you don't join in on that, I take it. I hate homosexuals. Uh -huh. Is that clear? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's clear. First time caller line, you're on the air with J.C., Hello, is this me? Yeah, that's only you know that for sure, but it really sounds like you, yes. Good deal. I appreciate you talking to my car. Yeah, where are you? Uh, this is Adam from Decatur, Illinois. And why in God's name are you calling JC? Uh, well, I wanted to tell him I really appreciate him coming on the air, and I enjoy a good laugh every once in a while, and I just wanted to ask him. Huh. A good laugh. What are you, was, are you laughing at the new revelation? You laugh at God? Listen to me, you degenerate. <laughs> you have no I, was right laughing to laugh at God. I was laughing at the whole thing, and I wanted to know if you came on the air for an interview or a comedy. Yeah, has it occurred to you, you J.C., that some people just think this is funny? They, they, they think you're a total put-on. Maybe you are. No, and no, because they don't want to believe in the truth and the light and the love of the Lord. I'm bringing love. I'm bringing salvation. Then why do you scream? Then why scream? 
Why scream? Because yes. you have to scream in order to get people to listen. Sometimes you got to break a few eggs to make an omelet. And that's another thing I want to talk about is the omelets. food porn. Food porn. Mr. Food. Gluttony, I've touched food on that porn. before. It's food porn? Yes. What's food porn? Food porn, the cooking shows, where they, they, they make <laughs> food look so delicious and make you want to eat. Gluttony, gluttony, it's gluttony is also a sin, Mr. Bill. Isn't like, that you know, a basic people, listen, human This is the same thing. Need? People need to eat, but they don't need to be fat, so. And listen. Am I still on the air? Yeah, you're, you're well, on here. Why don't you get him on the air? Well, so I'm going to get off there, and I appreciate it. All right, have I'm a good morning, call. Thank you. Point about, uh, again, what, make a point. This, Any this point. This is where the, the, the satanics over the empire has this elaborate plan, and what they are trying to do is the, uh, pornography and indulgence. It's more than just dirty, naked pictures of people doing dirty, naked things. It is. It, it is. is also food, because, listen, people, like they say, I was born gay. 